Disassemble the starter motor in order to inspect it. Please refer to the Check that the armature is not worn out or damaged as a result of contacting with the magnet. Replace the armature if there is any scratch from contacting. Inspect the surface of the commutator. If the surface is dirty or burnt, resurface with emery cloth, lathe, or use number 500 or number 600 sandpaper. Measure the outer diameter of the commutator. Refer to the shop manual. Inspect the commutator runout. Replace the armature if it exceeds the service limit. Remove the carbon deposits or metal particles if it's within the service limit. Measure the mica depth. If the mica depth is insufficient, modify it with a tool such as a hacksaw blade. Undercut the mica in the square. Then, check for continuity between the segments. Replace the armature if there is any disconnection. Check for continuity between the armature coil core and commutator. Also, check for continuity between the armature shaft and commutator. Replace the armature if continuity is detected at any location. Brush and brush holder inspection. Measure the brush length. If the length is not within the service limit, replace the armature housing assembly. Inspect the starter field winding. Check for continuity between the brushes. Replace the armature housing if there is no continuity. Check for continuity between each brush and housing. Replace the armature housing assembly if there is any continuity. Defect the magnet part of the housing for damage. Inspect the brush holder. Inspect the brush holder while brushes are removed. If the brush holder is normal, there is no continuity between the positive brush holder and negative brush holder. If there is continuity, replace the brush holder assembly. Inspect the brush spring tension. Insert the brushes into the brush holders and bring the brushes into contact with the commutator evenly. Attach a spring scale to the spring and measure the spring tension. Read the tension at the moment the spring lifts off the brush. Replace the brush holder assembly if the tension is out of the specifications. Overrunning Clutch Inspection Inspect the overrunning clutch operation. First, check that the overrunning clutch slides smoothly along the shaft. Inspect the overrunning clutch by turning it. Check that the overrunning clutch turns only in one direction, in that it locks when it's turned in the opposite direction. Replace the overrunning clutch either when it rotates in both directions without locking or when it locks in both directions. Check the condition of the starter drive gear on the overrunning clutch.
Replace the overrunning clutch assembly if the starter drive gear is worn or damaged.